Welcome to our tutorial about date and time functions. The first date and time function I'm going to look at is today. This returns the current date as a value according to how your system has it set up. Let's close our application. The next function I want to explore is the now function. This returns the current date and time according to how you've set it up on your system. Let's comment that out. And let's look at the next function, date diff. Let me take a moment to explain this function in greater detail. It counts the interval in numbers until a certain date. So for example, one year has 12 intervals if your interval equals one month. The same year has 52 intervals if one interval equals one week. We can of course keep breaking this down even further. The same year has 365 intervals if one interval equals one day, at least on Earth anyway. Let's take a look at the date diff statement. As you see here, it has three arguments. The first argument represents the interval. The next two arguments represent the dates used in the calculation, or the number of intervals between these two dates. I recommend that you check out your help file on the date diff function. It provides a convenient list of string values representing the intervals that you can choose from. The day interval is represented by a D, the year interval is represented by a Y, the month interval is represented by an M, etc. Let's take a look at an example to clarify how this function works. Let's say I want to count the number of intervals in days between today's date and December 31st, 2008. I click. I see that I've got 248 days left. I can count the same interval in seconds. We change the string value appropriately, and I enter the same date in the text box. I click and here is the number of seconds that needs to elapse before the year passes. Notice that as I continue to press the button, the value is reduced in real time as the seconds until the end of 2008 continue to tick tock away. And this concludes our tutorial about date and time functions.